Hi everyone and welcome to a new series of mine. Uh, I will be doing a tutorial series on Dwarf Fortress uh, because my original series is probably too hard to understand for most of the people that never played the game since it's a pretty complicated game there's a lot of going on and I like to go more in depth on what I do and why I do it. So I thought first I start off with how you install the lazy noob pack and the dwarf fortress hack I will, I will be using for the lazy noob pack you just google the lazy noob pack the top hit should be uh, uh, direct, uh, directing you to the B12 fortress forums and you should just download the latest version the guy updates the top post uh, every time there's a new version. I will be using the normal lazy new pack, not the advanced one. And if you download it from Mediafire, you will probably get a better download speed. So for the Dwarf Fortress hack, you just type in the Dwarf Fortress hack download and you will be directed to the uh, Dwarf Fortress wiki. Uh, the top hit will bring you to an outdated uh, version of the wiki. It says here it's an older version of uh, Dwarf Fortress. So every time you you surf the Dwarf Fortress wiki, you should check if you are on the, the latest uh, or the current version of the Dwarf Fortress. Uh, you just go to the contents list and press the Dwarf Fortress hack, DF hack, and there's a link also directing you to the B12 for forums. And here you can download it. This is the latest release, it works with the latest version of Dwarf Fortress as well. Um, once you download this and unpack it, you should be paying attention to where you uh, unzip the files like if you install the lazy new pack you get uh, uh, like this in your folder files like this and you should unpack the, the dwarf fortress hack into your dwarf fortress uh, directory so this this is the lazy new pack directory and this actually is the dwarf fortress directory where you should unpack the Dwarf Fortress hack. It should also override at least one file, I believe. So pay attention to that, otherwise it won't work. Um, I will be going over the Lazy New Pack settings. Um, under options, I will be using no equifiers. <coughs> it's uh, Aquifiers will add unlimited amounts of water into your map. Uh, it's hard to penetrate these, uh, these waters and it can flood your whole map of water. Um, it, if you put this on and work around it, it gives you a couple of more options uh, within Dwarf Fortress. But if you're new to the game, you should probably use uh, no aquifiers. <coughs> I will be uh, using uh, invaders of course, without invaders uh, it, uh, it gets pretty boring after a while because uh, when, you, when you have a huge fortress you want to defend it as well. Uh, I will be using cave-ins, without cave-ins your map can, be, can get a little bit messy uh, when you're digging out uh, lots of terrain and like the, the floors won't come down and you can't reach them anymore. Um, you want uh, liquid depths on, uh, yes, so you get a number from 1 to 7 uh, that represents the depth. Uh, since it's a 2D game, you can't see uh, the depth of the water by uh, default. So this adds a uh, some numbers to water tiles and magma tiles so you can see how deep it is. 
uh, ferry grounds I actually don't know what this does but it has something to do with the ASCII code and we, we will be using a graphics pack so probably doesn't matter I will also be using the temperature and weather system it just adds a little bit more depth to the game a population cap of 200 you can increase this but you might get lag eventually and uh, frames uh, drop uh, the child uh, cap I will not change this is the default setting this is also a new setting I don't know what it does but I'll just keep it at default for the graphics you can install a graphics pack I will be using the iron hand graphics pack uh, this, these two graphic packs this is the default these two graphics pack uh, come by default with the lazy new pack you can install more if you uh, go to the forums um, I will be using this just click install graphics yes ok and it will be working uh, utilities I will be using the dwarf therapist utility that's the only thing I will be using and showing you how to uh, use it uh, in advanced uh, you can put on some auto saves uh, I will be using auto saves on seasonal uh, I will be pause, uh, pause, on, pause my game on save and I will be using backups uh, be careful with backups it will flood your save folder and you might have a hard time finding your original save game back so just pay attention to that uh, the rest I will leave at default and if you click play Dwarf Fortress you can start playing it so I'll see you guys in the next video where I will be going over uh, map creation. So see you guys next time.